these gypsy moths are always there in very low numbers, but this year uh, we've had a, a pretty aggressive outbreak of gypsy moths. Normally, gypsy moth uh, caterpillars are kept in check by a natural fungus, which will actually attack and suppress the, the caterpillar as it's beginning to develop. But this year, because we had such a dry spring, the fungus which normally attacks the gypsy moths was not able to, to really progress. And so the gypsy moth caterpillars were able to really take a foothold this year. And there's, they are what's causing the defoliation primarily of oak trees. However, if, if there aren't enough oak trees in the area, we're noticing they're doing a lot of damage to pine trees as well. Oak trees can withstand a year or two of gypsy moth defoliation. Uh, we get concerned if, the, if it happens three years in a row because there may start to be some mortality the third year in a row. Uh, we are a little bit concerned about the white pines this year that have become defoliated, uh, questioning whether or not they're going to fully come back, particularly since we're in a little bit of a mini drought here in, uh, in New England this year. And uh, lack of rainfall is probably going to uh, uh, not help this situation at all in terms of the trees and especially the white pines coming back. We're, we are pretty much at the end. The, the caterpillars uh, themselves, the larvae, have done 90% of their damage. Uh, they are in the process of pupating and emerging shortly thereafter as, as moths. You've probably seen the brown moths that are flying around everywhere. Those moths, the gypsy, they're gypsy moth caterpillar adults, those moths are going to be laying eggs which are then going to present or which will then cause a problem next year should we have another season that's conducive to an outbreak.